Hi everyone and welcome to Motor Brothers channel. I'm Barry Sia and today I'm going to review the BMW CE04. So this is the second electric motorcycle that I've ever ridden and let's see how it fares. But before that, let's talk about specs. Okay, here is the CE04 BMW electric motorcycle. So you can see from the look of it, it actually looks very um, cyberpunkish. Okay, so you can see, as you can see, uh, that uh, the look of it, it looks very sci fi. That's why I actually did a little digital art effect when I actually went to the showroom, take the show in my iPhone 14, and do some photoshop and that is what i get so this is what i actually did but this is what i feel when i first see the bike so you can see that they have all those uh futuristic dynamics you can see that the seat is also very futuristic very minimal very minimalist and one more cool thing is about the storage so i just turn it on and i open the storage so this is the storage compartment that is around 30 liters the good thing about it is that it has a built-in light over here which is actually very good because at night usually even we have our side panels or we have our top box there isn't any light there's other our things are like black dark you cannot really see but it's less uh, but over here you can see that you can see the light is there you know you can see that the the storage is lighted up so you're able to find your thing so there's a very good uh, kind of um, mod and a good kind of improvement. There are, uh, hopefully other bikes will have this feature as well. Now other than that, there is also um, right over here, there's also a handphone charger. So they are actually, uh, you can put your handphone over here. Let me put mine. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, over here. So, put it over here, you can actually charge and you can charge with the USB-C uh, cable here. I mean, now most of the cables coming up are all USB-C. So, they are actually keeping it up. Okay, then over here, you can just close. So, at least it's charging on the go. No problem at all. So, yep. And then, over here is the charging port mm -hmm. there you go and yeah so that's about it it also has some connectivity in the setting as you can see there isn't really a place for you to mount your handphone so um i went to the menu let me see okay and then you can see there's a, it's grayed out because I haven't got it connected yet. Uh, so with the telephone, media, navigation, you can connect it to your phone. And there's like over here in the settings. And then you just go connections by turning the dial and then you go in. So basically, that's how about it, how, how, it, how it works. So other than that, uh, overall, you can see that um, the mileage is only a little poor, actually quite poor. You can see that uh, I left 97 click. So today we'll be doing a little riding, but not too extensive. And I'm running on eco mode because there's few modes. There is actually rain mode, road mode, and dynamic mode. So just let you have a rough idea how the modes work. So let me go to Eco first. I need to press the brake because now it's not going move. You see, I, the way I throttle, the bike's not moving. So I need to press the brake and I press this and then it will actually show ready. That shows it's going. So over here, you can see if I change the mode to rain, 
you can see how much power and how much charge when uh, regenerative charging. Okay, followed by road. You will see a difference. You have more power but less charging. The charging is like the engine brake regenerative charging. But you can see dynamic is both. But dynamic also really use up the power. So I'll just go to Eco. And uh, Eco is less power but more charging. So when I actually um, when I actually moving on the road, then I just uh, slow, slow down. It will regenerate but when I throttle, it doesn't pull too much. It doesn't like really whack too much. Anyway, I find that for electric motorcycles, right, they are already quite fast already. So the Eco one, I find I'm still comfortable with the power and the torque of it. So yeah, that's what I felt. So yeah, okay, let me just uh, move uh, around. And, and also one cool thing is that Electric motorcycles have reverse gear. So the reverse gear is a little different from the one I tested before. So you just press hold on to the R, you will see a reverse icon there, and then you just accelerate, it will go. You will reverse back. Yeah, just like that. And after that, you stop, you let go, it will go forward again. So basically it's quite straightforward. And one thing about this bike is also have one very a safe, uh, one very strong safety feature, but not everybody likes it. Um, especially, maybe I can say, those who like to push their bikes into their lot after they come out with their side stand on. So you can see the side stand on. Okay, I hold up the bike. I cannot move at all because with the side stand on, they actually will engage the both brakes. So the bike will move. So if I want the bike to move, I need to hold up. I need to kick it up, then I'm about to move it. Okay, so I'm about to push it, but the side stand must be up. So it's a kind of safety feature kind of thing. But the good thing about this side stand and this type of safety feature, I feel that let's say you are up on a slope and then you want to come out, you won't have the tendency to drop the bike because it engaged the parking brake straight away. You engage the brake straight away. And then when you go up the uh, go up the slope, park at the side, side stand out, your bike will be stable. So I think that is actually quite a good feature to go on. So let's take it for a ride and see how it fares in our Singapore tiny busy roads. Let's roll. Okay. <laughs> oh, hopefully, you can go through. Yep. Okay. Well, it sure is real quiet. Even though it's in eco mode, the the acceleration is still not bad. But I did try other modes before. So I tried the road, the dynamic. Yeah, there's only a slight more power. Just slight more power. You know, it's not like really uh, huge, but slight more power. Yeah. So now it is um, 82%. So let's go uh, mini rounding in Singapore homeland. And let's see how long can the battery last. One thing about electric motorcycles, right, is like when, especially when you're turning or when you're actually um, cruising through the corner, it's not recommended for you to totally shut off the throttle. You know, you need to just hang on a little bit. I noticed this for all electric motorcycles, you know, just like hang on, you know, kind of thing. Oh, hmm. Okay. The 
Dubai is so quiet, it's so cool hmm. that nobody knows my existence so which is actually not so good but okay whenever you ride you need to ensure that you must be aware of your surroundings so you can see over here right now i throttle and when i actually close throttle there's actually quite a huge engine brake and you can see that it's charging so you can roughly see how the whole charging system and battery usage is uh, working on your dashboard so yeah, down close the throttle you can see uh, there's a bit more re uh, regenerative charge okay uh, but the thing is that you don't expect to keep on closing throttle and then expect it to charge it back up uh, it doesn't work that way because uh, I also thought that as well but uh, nah it doesn't work that way oh well <coughs> nice chillax chillax You see now it's like 78% already Okay lah, I'm not really going far If it's like city riding, it's not really much of an issue Even the cupcake sounds louder than me Let's see if I just squeeze in here a little Can I squeeze in? Squeeze in. Okay, oh, yeah, squeeze in. All right, let's go. Yeah, you can hear that. Yeah, yeah it's even louder than me. I think he's also wondering, hey, what, what, what type of bike is this, man? It's like, gee. You know, yeah, if it, it really feels like the Star Wars, you know, the speedster thing You know, the, what the Mandalorian rides, yeah, something like that It feels like that, it feels that way You know, just like, you need to have the Mandalorian music, man dun, 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 dun yeah, if you don't really watch um, Star Wars or you never watched Mandalorian before Go watch it, it's worth it man I started off not as a fan but After I watch it, uh, then I watch the rest of the episodes yep. You want to feel it? Try this bike You can feel the real thing man <laughs> The shocks not bad. Uh, you can handle the bumps quite well. Mm. Oh, what happened, man? Oh, well, I hope it's not an accident. Oh, it looks like an accident. It looks like collision. Just go in front. Damn. I hope everything is okay and eh? oh this is really scary. He's washing right in the center of the road. Thing, uh, I only feel weird about this scooter is actually the footrest area so you can see a footrest well mm, I don't know it just feel a bit weird not sure is it because you know there's a center there's something you know so uh, it's comfortable just a little weird it's like turning my 
my uh, toes my toes forward in kind of thing yeah but overall i i think you know i will not be having a backache uh, with this ride Ooh, what a strong engine brake i haven't even pressed the brake yet hmm. what a city of a city area One thing I have to be aware of is that there's a high chance nobody will know I'm here. You see? Whoa, everybody's rushing. Rushing, rushing, rushing. Uh, I think I have to turn right here. And this is our Singapore Central Business District. which is really tight you can see it's very very tight 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 okay we have to go we have to go people want to squeeze there we want to squeeze here this one want to squeeze here everybody want to squeeze 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 come out horn and that's how road rage come about so yeah let's see everybody all can jump Actually, you should be in front. Let me let me try and go to the right. And wow, well, why? Hmm, what? What's what's with this person, man? What? Why? Why is she stopped so far away? Weird. Really weird. Okay, let's move it over here. See that I can move it up here, up a bit. Okay, here we go. All right, Chinese New Year is coming, so let us check out the decals. Oh, look at those bunnies! Those bunny, 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 bunny. Okay, everybody please go, go, go. Alright, can I go? Alright. Okay, I think it's, it's still early, that's why it's not that crowded. I thought it would be crowded at this part of time. Look at all those bunnies, man. Bunny, bunny, bunny. Whoa, it's crowded at the street area. Okay. I think I just do a turn. Lots of you turn around here, man. Whoops. There's a lot of vehicle. Hmm. Not bad on the turning radius because especially when the frame is so long. The, the length of the bike is super long Okay, but what's that? Okay, ta -ta 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 -ta. okay let's, uh, let's go into the small roads, shall we? Oh, look at those bunnies Those bunny, bunny, bunny Bunny, bunny, bunny Okay, that's this Okay, I think maybe I just go to Mm. Let's enter this street. Let's enter Temple Street. Oh no, Temple Street is the one that is full. That is where a lot of people are. So you can see. Look, it's, it's so so busy. Okay, maybe Smith Street. Let's have a quick look. Oh my. 
Memories, man. Because last time my studio is at Chinatown, so. Whew, memories. Okay, it's really tight. It looks like I have to do a U turn here, man. Okay, at least my chicken rice store is still left here. Okay, I need to do a lot of three point turn here. All right. It's so quiet, nobody knows my existence, man. Too quiet already. Too quiet, it feels eerie. Damn, really, the engine brake is very strong. All I do is just close. I haven't even tapped the brake yet, man. Anyway, if you are asking about um, how, how much is this um, bike, this BMW C, uh, C404 is actually 53,800 Singapore dollars, excluding the current COE. So, yeah, that is just the machine price, 53,800. Yeah, so I find it still a little pricey, but you know, as time goes on, our cars are also very expensive. In Singapore, actually, all the automotives are very expensive. And, yep. But, this is the price. $53,800. Singapore dollars. Sometimes I feel that, that with the bike being very quiet, right, it can really kind of like be a little freaky when riding because I'm not sure whether everyone is really looking on the road maybe they're looking at their phone they only based on the sense of hearing you know so I'm just looking around to ensure you know uh, I am visible by all drivers Alright, this is just my conclusion. This is my personal point of view about the bike. Basically, I can say it's an easy bike to ride. It is uh, it's comfortable and it is easy to adapt because you know some bikes just need some type of adapt but I find that it's easy to adapt. And with the better turning radius, you are able to actually turn in very tight corners, especially with Singapore roads is very tight. So that's what I felt about it. Other than that, the only thing that is like um, and the downside is that the mileage part um, is not as good. It's really, really bad. Um, actually, in a way, well, because the battery isn't that uh, huge, so it is like 100 to 100 if a bit uh, per full charge. And also, it takes around an hour to charge for uh, to go up to the full percentage. So, uh, really, really. An hour is fast charging, depending. So sometimes it will be around, uh, around 45. No, it will never be 45 minutes. It'll be one hour, uh, one hour plus. And but you can charge overnight. You won't, you won't explode or solar if you have uh, a plug nearby because they do provide a domestic charger that you can plug in your wall plug. So that is quite cool, uh. I'm not sure whether it's in the, the Singapore BMW Motorrad uh, whether they will be providing this this one I'm not really sure at the making of this video but yeah that's the that's the cool part other than that I find that uh, other than the mileage I find that it is actually a very good city riding bike uh, that you can just uh, move around um, meet friends um, and like go, go cafe hopping kind of thing uh, yeah and with the big storage, around 30 liter of storage that is in the bike, you can actually go and do some small little grocery shopping. I wasn't expecting a big one, but yeah. Other than that, I find it practical because of storage. So, but when it comes to a bit of, uh, when, it, when it comes to mileage, that you require mileage, um, well, I don't think 
this is the bike for you. So what do you think of electric motorcycles in this type of the type? Do you think, do you think that it is the future or we are still immature? I find that we are still got a long way to go because we need our grid to be really structured. Even for cars, right, it's not really fully matured yet. So that's the challenge. So what do you think? Share your, share your thoughts in the comments below and I'll see you in my next video.